Hey guys, this is Corey here at Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today we are gonna check out the Sunray and Sunlight campers from Sunset Park RV. These are quickly becoming one of our most asked for and most popular trailers that we have on the whole lot. And I think it's because you can just tow them with a, just about anything. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we're gonna take a look at a couple of 18 RDs. So as you can see here, this one, or these are all going to be aluminum sided trailers. Now, both of these are going to be about 18 foot long. They're gonna have two power awnings, outside speakers. The 18 RDs we currently have have the lift kits so that's going to give you a six inch lift. You've got some great storage in there too. For a small camper, that's pretty good. So again, you've got the power awning here. And then you're going to have another power awning out here. You can see this is prepped for a backup camera. Now this is a what I like to call a towable truck camper. You got your spare tire, dual steps there, and these are the Moride step above steps. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So in here, you have got a Murphy bed. And it's a great space saving design, which is something that a lot of people really like. This is in the Naughty Pine interior decor. So you've got your sofa here. Good windows, and these are all max tinted. You've got your small little booth dinette that'll turn down an extra bed if you need it to. Good storage. Over here, you're gonna have a small little kitchenette. So you've got your stove oven combo, big sink, storage down below, microwave up top, radio. Um, before I forget this, an actual air conditioner. This doesn't have one of those little side mount jobs like some of these do. You're gonna have a furnace in here, an 11 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. So if we go ahead and open this, you can see great storage there. And in the refrigerator compartment. Now, most of these are gonna have 100 watts of solar. A couple of these have 200 watts, or uh, yeah, 200 watts of solar. And if that wasn't enough, you've got a bathroom. Now that's a little elevated and then you've got your shower here. Vent, fan, skylight up top. Really neat features, and especially at the price. So if you've looked at new RVs, you know that the prices have absolutely skyrocketed. Normally, this one should go for about $30,632. We have it for $22,922. So great, great, phenomenal pricing, really, on these. These are well-built, but super inexpensive. And that's, I think, why they're so popular. Now, here's the other 18RD. And before we go inside, you can see this one is gray and white, or I'm sorry, gray and red. And this one is white and red. So you can get these in just about any color combination you want. Now, the main colors will always be gray or white, but you can get them with yellow, turquoise, blue, black, red, whatever, pretty much whatever color you want. So same floor plan, and you can see this is what the bed looks like when it's down. This is also in the ash interior decor. So this is gonna be that more modern, contemporary, kind of chocolate brown. Basically, same floor plan. You've got cubby holes back there with power on each side. So, again, same floor plan. Got big windows, two-inch dinette, storage up top. 
big refrigerator, dual power awnings. You're going to have your small little kitchenette here. Great little. And this one, we have it $1,000 at $19.9. So again, if you're looking for that diamond in the rough, so to speak, as far as what you get for the money, these little sunlights are super super affordable um, and they really tow beautifully behind most jeeps small suvs this one's going to have the 100 watts of solar as well all righty so let's go over here now and we will take a look at these couple little sun rays over here so this yellow one that looks like a school bus is going to be the Sunray 129. And I apologize for road noise. We're right next to Interstate 40. But back here is going to be your outside kitchen. So you've got a small little refrigerator. You've got great cabinetry space. So great cabinetry space, sink, stove top, 4.3 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. You have a great little storage compartment there too. Now if we step on to the inside, actually before we do that, this one is going to have the off-road package. You can get this lowered if you do want to, and I'll show you what one of those looks like. Outside speakers, you've got the roof rack that's rated at 500 pounds, manual awning, single 20 pound propane tank, power tongue jack on all of these. You've got the big front rack here, outside shower, and you've got the outside shower bar, which is always really nice 100 watts of solar but let's go ahead and take a look on the inside of this one so again this is the 129 so this is basically what i like to call a box drop or a add on wheels so you've got the big u dinette this will you know, seat five, six people. You can make this into a bed. Down under here, you actually have a toilet that's plumbed into a black tank, which is really neat. You got your thermostat for your heat, side mount air conditioner, big, fantastic vent fan. And then you, this is cabinetry or this will flip down into a bunk. So if you have an extra kid, um, that's going to come with you or, you know, if you're a single parent with a small tow vehicle, your kiddo can sleep up here and you get the big bed underneath, which is really, really nice. You've got a small sink that'll just drain out onto the ground storage all over here. You can get this with the optional fireplace if you want. Stereo. Microwave TV connections. Overall, these are really Really good looking campers. They're super popular. Um, actually, before we go there. So this one is under 20,000 again. So normally it should go for about 26.3. We have it at 19.9. So over here, we've got a 139. So this 139 is about the same size it's just a different floor plan so and actually these are going to be discontinued the 139 is so you can see this is a little bit sits a little bit lower it's got the same outside kitchen knotty pine interior or uh, interior wood color you're gonna have 200 watts of solar on this one you got the rear door for loading bike racks backup camera prep roof rack that's rated at 500 pounds power tongue jack battery from the factory single 20 pound propane tank it's got the outside shower bar let's go look at the inside of this one 
So in here, you've got a small little bench, basically same kitchen space up here, you know, or countertop space. You've got household and USB outlets right there. As we come over here, you can see this is basically a tiny toy hauler with that rear door back there. This bed flips up out of the way. And basically, let's see if I can do this one handed. So that's what it will look like in bed mode. So this is a full size bed. So that if you're not familiar with that term, 54 inches wide, 74 inches long. You got your side mount air conditioner, large, fantastic vent fan. You got your control panels, placed mount a TV with the appropriate connections, solar panel. And then you have got a very big closet in here. Plus, this has a toilet, which is really neat. Something you don't normally find very often in these smaller campers. Now, bear with me. We do kind of have these spread out. But let's go take a look at this little 109 over here. So this little orange thing that's just cute as a button. So this is the 109. And this is a really neat little camper. That's Again, it's in the off-road package. This has got 100 watts of solar panels on it. You can see you've got the manual awning roof rack. This thing only weighs 1,280 pounds. You've got a small outside kitchen, refrigerator, that's a three-way, 12-volt gas electric, microwave, lots of storage. And you can see this one normally goes for $19,103. We have it at under $15,000, $14,922. And that's what I keep on saying to people is, if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank, the Sunset Parks are perfect for that. So you've got your sofa here. This will turn down into a bed. So this is literally a bed on wheels. But if we go up in here, you know, I still have plenty of room at 6'3". You've got your side mount air conditioner, vent fan up there, radio, lights. It's really a cool camper and you know and and that's pretty much all it is just to get out in the boonies get away from everything you know do some hunting fishing whatever you want to do it's really a good thing for these small campers like this and then over here you're still going to have an outside shower um, which is right there you've still got some great storage here they're just a super economical way to get into camping and I think that's why so many people really do like them so now bear with me we've got a little bit of a hike back to the back of the lot for these other two or three but let me know if you have any questions about the sunlights or sun rays down in the comment section down below or in the chat and I will do my best to answer those again we've got a little bit of a walk back here so bear with me So if you're just now joining us, we're taking a look at the Sunray and Sunlight campers from Sunset Park RV. So that'll be these two little box drops, I guess you could call them, up here. So we've got another 139. This thing, again, these are just cute as a button. As you can see, you can get them in pretty much any color that you want. And this particular one is in the ash interior. So that is the darker of the two. 
Again, this one weighs in only at 1,800 pounds, which is just amazing considering what all you get in here. So you've got you know, a big refrigerator, stove, sink, roof rack, awning, power tongue jack, solar. It's really, really impressive what all they're able to cram in these things. So again, small little bench. You've got your 54 by 74 inch full-size bed in here. Rear door for loading cargo. Control panel, TV bracket, or a TV backer in the wall there, solar charge controller. You've got your side mount air conditioner. This does have a furnace. You've got your uh, vent fan up there as well. You're gonna have a small little sink again that drains out into the ground. Storage here, microwave, outlets there. And then you've got, again, you've got this little toilet here, which is plumbed into a black tank, or what well, I think most people will use this for is closet space. Now, again, this is a 2022 model. And I know I'm probably gonna get in trouble for showing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This one uh, normally goes for $21,797. We have it under 14,000 at 13,922. Now, if you're looking at these 139s, you probably can't find one. Um, they, they're super hard to come by. Um, we've got three of them in stock right now. And you will not find another one for that price brand new. I can guarantee you it. They have gone up exponentially over the past three months. Now this next one is the most popular Sunray on the market right now. This is the all new 139 toy hauler. And again, this thing is just awesome. 1,840 pounds empty. So you've got your ramp door here, six gallon gas electric water heater on all of your sun rays. But if you've got a motorcycle, mountain bikes, kayaks, fishing equipment, dog crates, whatever you want to put in here, you have got plenty of room to be able to do that. So here's your bed, what it looks like flipped up in the storage mode. You've got, again, same little seating area. You're going to have your thermostat for your furnace as well as your side mount air conditioner. TV bracket, um, control panel, got your solar charge controller. This is this one has 200 watts of solar panels in, in it. You're going to have tie downs down here, propane leak detector, small little sink. You've got, you know, tons of countertop space, microwave, same outside kitchen as the normal 139s, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. This one normally goes for $27,646. We have it at $20,622. And again, you've got that closet rack there. Plus the toilet. Down here, again, going down the ramp. You're gonna have, this is in the lowered version. You can get this in a sport as well. Just look how cute this thing looks. I mean, this thing is just awesome. You got the manual awning. You've got the kitchen, 4.3 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator stove sink storage there again this is a toy hauler under 15 foot in overall length it comes in about 1840 pounds this is the all new 139t again we have it at 20,622 power tongue jack rack up here you've got your 200 watts of solar single 20 pound propane tank You're gonna have your outside shower with the outside shower bar. Now it does not come with the shower curtain, that is user supplied. 
And then the last unit that I've got to take a look at today, and I don't know why we don't have these closer together, but eh, I'll get my exercise, is I have got an 18 twin bed. And this is, I think, my favorite one of these, just because you don't find a lot of twin bed models out there anymore. And again, bear with me. Like I said, these uh, are kind of spread out. But again, if you're just now joining us, let us know what you think about these trailers down in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in one of these. So here is the 18 TB. So very similar to the first two that we looked at. This one is in gray and black. You've got the two power awnings, 200 watts of solar, outside speakers. This has the lift kit on it. So six inches of lift, black tank flush, power tongue jack. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. So up in here, you're gonna have two twin size beds or this whole thing can turn down into a king size bed, which is really neat. You've got storage up top, storage all the way around above your dinette. So great space there. You've got your two bench dinette, small little kitchenette here with your sink, stove oven combo, microwave, good storage, full 13,000 BTU air conditioner, 11 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. And then you're also going to have your toilet and shower. So that's gonna do it for all of these Sunset Park units that I have in stock. If you're interested in one of these sun rays or sunlights, you can give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can give, uh, text me directly at 806-382-6274. That's my personal cell phone number. You can also email us at contact at custom rv and we would love to be able to answer any of your questions and help you find the right RV for you and your family. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. and We know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. With that being said, guys, we thank you very much for taking the time to watch our live stream. Let's get out there and do some camping. And we'll talk to you again very soon. We'll see you later.